Breaking news coming at the top of the hour. We are getting to hear that top and very senior ministers of the Tamil Nadu government, uh, including the forest minister, the education minister, Mr. Sengotian, will all be meeting VK Sasikala. Yesterday, the AIDMK general secretary and nephew TTV Dinakaran also got a chance to meet his aunt. In fact, we hear that Sasikala, popularly called as Chinema, uh, spoke about the party's affairs and just how Jay Lalita, the late chief minister of the state's birthday, has to be celebrated on a grand scale. She also spoke on just how the new chief minister, Idapati K. Palanisamy, should manage the government well to keep the people's trust on the AIDMK. After being sworn in as ministers, they are now making a beeline to the Bengaluru jail where VK Sasikala is in. Akshaya, coming to you, uh, can you just give a clarification? Will all the senior ministers uh, be meeting VK Sasikala today or when is that going to happen? Well, Avantika, the information that we have right now is that all these senior members, including Sengote and uh, Srinivasan and Selu Raja, all of them will be meeting Sashikala today. And in fact, uh, this is also seen as a planning for them uh, for the upcoming Jailalitha's birthday celebration. This is the first birth anniversary of mm. Jailalitha after her demise. And it, it needs to be celebrated in a big way is what the AIADMK is saying. So yes, uh, they are going to have a meeting. Today is the information that we have got and already a press release has been uh, sent out from both the AIADMK sectors. Uh, Madhusudanan has also sent out, uh, that is an OPS camp uh, to be identified. They have also sent out a press note saying that uh, the former chief's uh, birthday should be celebrated in a grand manner. And so has uh, the Sashikala camp's uh, leaders also sending out a press note saying that the birthday has to go on in a grand fashion, Avantika. Very interesting, Akshaya. And what's more interesting is just how uh, evident it is that uh, she may have been convicted she may be in jail, but that has certainly not robbed her of the control when it comes to the party matters. Well, Avantika, this is not a surprising factor yes. at all because when former Chief Minister Jay Jailalitha was convicted and when she was in prison also, we had seen a very similar uh, scenario. We had seen that O Paneer Selva made regular visit to Parapanamagraharam, which is the jail in Bangalore, and also seeked her advice. And in fact, he had kept all the files on hold, was what we were told uh, back then uh, to uh, make sure that it was former Chief Minister Jay Jailalitha who was always taking the decisions. And even now, after uh, Sashikala being uh, convicted and sent to jail. The General Secretary's post is still held by her, at least in one sector of the AIADMK, right. still calls her their leader. And in fact, uh, the Deputy General Secretary, who is supposed to be the nephew of Sashikala, is also calling the shots after meeting her. Uh, so it's very interesting. And uh, But it, this is not surprising because it's always okay. been the fashion here, Avantika. Absolutely. I'm going to go straight across to my colleague Nolan. Nolan, it's going to be an interesting day. Uh, lots of VVIP visits that are scheduled to take place uh, with Tamil Nadu government's top ministers on their way to meet Chinnama. Absolutely. I'm waiting to actually speak to them. I've, I just now spoke, just, just about a minute ago, spoke to the AI DMK General Secretary for Karnataka in charge. And he tells us that uh, somewhere around 4 o'clock, uh, three senior ministers from the AI DMK will be visiting uh, Shashikala to inquire about her health and also uh, various other uh, facets over here. But one more thing, there, it's an important uh, thing. There are a lot of uh, messages being floating around saying that Shashikala might get transferred to Chennai. I also spoke to DG Prison Sir, Mr. Satyanarayan Rao, and I asked him, can I quote him on this? And he said yes, that he has specifically not received any sort of request from anyone regarding uh, uh, shifting her from uh, Karnataka to Tamil Nadu. So he says you can put those rumours to rest uh, over there. But yes, three senior ministers along with the uh, Karnataka General Secretary of AIA DMK will be meeting Shashikala right. anytime soon. Absolutely. Akshaya, coming to you, a grand celebration, birthday celebration for the late Chief Minister, uh, whose birthday, in fact, is just approaching. It's on the 24th, if I'm not mistaken. Why is that being done? Do you think it's probably an attempt by the VK Sasikala camp to uh, salvage some of their reputation to try and earn goodwill, good faith from the people of Tamil Nadu? Well, 
Well, Avantika, right from December 4th, uh, December 5th to be precise, from the day of the death of uh, former Chief Minister Jay Jailalitha, it has been a dramatic, tragic period uh, politically for the state of Tamil Nadu. We have seen a lot of ups and downs. Uh, we have seen how there has been a split within the party itself and how people are fighting among themselves within mm. the same party and each of them trying to gain power. Uh, so right now, the, the, the binding factors for all, both the factions has been MGR as well as Jailalitha. So we saw that on the birth anniversary of MGR was when uh, VK Sashikala had gone to the AIADMK headquarters and okay. uh, uh, spoken about how she wants to become the next uh, CM and also how she wants to be the general secretary. So these are the emotional angle that they have used to connect to the AIADMK cadres as well as the general public. And this celebration is a way to show that they are in control, they are not uh, being right. threatened by any uh, power factors or the vote of confidence uh, issue that is going on so this is just a way of projecting themselves to be a stable uh, a stable government right now Avantika. absolutely akshaya nolan thanks so much for joining us and keep a close track uh, of the activity that will be witnessed outside uh, the uh, bengaluru jail but some more breaking news coming in at this point This is interesting. A source within the party has said that it has only been five days since VK Sasikala entered jail, that they can't move a petition for her shifting until she completes 15 days. But efforts are being made by her lawyers who are seeking her transfer from Bengaluru's jail to Chennai's central prison. Deputy Editor Rohini Swami now joining us for more on this. Rohini, give us more details. Well, certainly at this point of time, uh, VK Satikala, who's housed at the uh, Patpana Agrahar or the Bangor Central Jail, uh, is seeking all kinds of legal options to possibly move herself to the Puyal Central Jail in Chennai. Uh, but what I'm given to understand is, uh, from my uh, sources in the AIDM, that it's been just five days since she has uh, come into the Central Jail in Bangalore. So it would take at least, uh, she'd have to spend at least 15 days before they actually move the application. Uh, the DGP of Central Prisons also in Karnataka has confirmed to India today mm -hmm. that he has not received any application as of now to shift her from the Central, uh, Bangor Central Prison to Chennai. Now this clearly indicates also that efforts are being made while she's shifting to Chennai because they will be in better control of um, the situation. A similar kind of application was even made when Jailatha and Sajikala were in jail in, uh, uh, earlier in 2015. Mm. So, but okay. it took almost two months for that to be processed, but by that time, the court verdict also came out. Now, number one is the legal team of Satikala right. and legal counsel of Satikala applying with the state government of Karnataka and right. the law officer asking for a shift. But second, it will take some time. Absolutely. Rohini Swami, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, some more breaking news coming in at this point. According to information, VK Sasikala will have to serve 13 more months in prison if she fails to pay a fine of 10 crore rupees that has been imposed by the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court rather had on the 14th of February restored Sasikala's conviction in the disproportionate assets case, awarding four years jail term to her and her relatives. Now, what we're hearing is that besides imposing a fine of rupees 10 crore each, she has to also serve jail term, but she will have to serve additional jail term if she does not pay the amount that she has been instructed to.